hi friends my name is precious and i am making this video just to talk about ikwang <laughs> ikwang is one of my favorite meals in the whole wide world cooking ikwang is a labor of love but before i get to that part let me tell you guys all about ikwang what is ikwang ikwang also called ikpang or ikpang kukuo according to nigerians right in cameroon it's called ikwang or ikpang in nigeria it's called Ekpan kuku. Also in Cameroon, sometimes when I was growing up, I would hear people call it ekwan kuku. It's a meal made up of cocoa yams, also known as taro, that is grated, then it is wrapped in cocoa yam leaves. Then it is cooked with palm oil. The flavor is out of this world. Eating it is such an experience. You feel so good eating it, but there's one thing, it's never enough. So <laughs> you eat and you just wish you had more. <music> Okay, let's make some delicious ekwang. First, we are going to start by peeling the cocoa yams. And my daughter Salma is helping me peel the cocoa yams. She loves helping in the kitchen. The cocoa yams are labeled as taro or taro root here in the United States. And we just use a vegetable peeler to peel everything to be nice and clean. Then we are going to give those cocoa yams a really, really good wash then i'm just going to chop them i'm actually going to be blending or grinding these cocoa yams in my blender i learned this tip from an amazing woman called seasoning angels she's here on youtube and also on facebook i'm going to link to her channel in the video notes and you just put that in the juicer and then the chaff comes out really nice and with the texture as though the cocoa yams were grated i should note that Traditionally, we would use a grater and hand grate everything, so this makes this really easy. I've just gone in with some salt and added that to the cocoyam paste. And I'm also going to add a little bit of water. Now I'm adding water because I had some of the cocoyams that were pink or red, what you call um, pink taro. In Cameroon, they'll call that red cocoa. So I added water just because I wanted it to soften it a little bit so my egg one will not be too tough. It was, it's still going to have a really good texture to it, but it's not going to be too tough. Okay guys, I have taro leaves here or cocoa leaf as we say in Cameroon. These are the leaves of the cocoa yams. And you could definitely use any leaf for your ekwang, but I was lucky enough to find kokoyam leaves, so I'm going to use that for my ekwang. I'm just washing the leaves and just cutting them, removing the tough stems, and then I give them a good rinse. And now we are ready to make ekwang. I have my wide non-stick pan here. It's my favorite pan to make ekwang with because it doesn't stick as easily as other pots. Now I'm just going in with some red palm oil and oiling the pan. Then I'm I'm going to start making my ekwang wrap so you just take a clean leaf you put about half a tablespoon of the kokoyam paste onto the leaf then you wrap it to form some sort of a small bundle like you see me doing and then you place that on the oiled pot or pan and you just keep doing that till you're done making ekwang you guys is a labor of love you guys and i also want to note here that you could use any other leaves apart from the kokoyam leaves I've made ekwang with even collard greens. You know, my first ekwang video was with collard greens because that's what worked for me at the time. Right now, I've made it with kokoyam leaves and I've also used Chinese mustard greens and they just work so well. If your leaf doesn't have any strong flavor to it, then it's going to work well for ekwang. Okay, I put the ekwang on the fire and then I added palm oil to the pot. I learned this trick from my friend called Aqui and I put it on low heat. The palm oil is going to start sizzling but not anything high so it burns the ekwang. While that is happening, I'm just going in and preparing my fish. So I'm taking out bones from smoked and dried fish. Then I'm going to place that fish right on top of the ekwang. I have kuta fish here and some other fish that I got from Cameroon. So good. You guys, my hand has been baptized with kokoyam paste. Don't judge, okay? <laughs> Moving on, I'm putting some maggi, which is like stock cubes, right? And I'm also putting in some salt. Now I put some crayfish in a Ziploc bag and I mashed it and I'm just pouring that crayfish over the pot. 
I'm also going in with some cayenne pepper for some heat. Sometimes I'll just throw in some habanero for heat. Then I'm going to put in this really special ingredient called country onions. It's also called rondelles and it gives it a really nice flavor. Then I'm going in with boiling water. Yes, guys, boiling water so that it starts to simmer almost immediately. As soon as you put that water, it starts to simmer. And I was just making sure my ingredients are well immersed. I let that cook for a while. Then now, you see what I'm doing? I'm not stirring the pot. If you stir the pot, you're going to destroy your ikwang. So do not stir. And then I'm adding in more water because I feel like this is a little too thick. Then guys, this is a special ingredient. When your ikwang is getting done, go in with a little bit of black pepper. It's just going to give you that extra something something. When it cooks for a while, ikwang is already to be eaten shake the ikwang you know never you stay your ikwang always shake <laughs> to be sure that your ikwang is done sometimes what i would do is i would take out some wraps of ikwang and then i'm going to cut into them and if the kokoyam is no longer white in the middle if it has turned opaque in the middle that means that the ikwang is done this is the moment i've been waiting for <laughs> hmm. Mm. Comfort food at its best. Hey! Hey! I would like to talk to you guys about this amazing head wrap I am wearing. This head wrap is from a site called Suzy XO. I am going to leave the details about the site in the video description this website is owned by an amazing lady called queen and she makes the most beautiful head wraps one thing that is very special about these head wraps is that they are pre-made for you so they come with a cap and then you just have the tie that you wear the cap and then you tie around it so for people who are not very skilled in wearing head wraps like i am it's a really easy way to wear a head wrap i have received so many compliments when i wear this head wrap and go out so go check out queen's website i'm going to leave her details in the video description okay friends that's how you make a kwang i hope you guys enjoyed spending time with me for the full recipe go to my blog preciouscore.com also be sure to give this video a thumbs up and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye hi friends my name is precious and i love food other people eat to leave <laughs> i live to eat <laughs> friends my name is precious and i love to eat mm -hmm. especially when it's equine <laughs> stop in there